After beating good old Ricky, there's only truly one boss left, and this boss will be the toughest boss we have ever faced, and his name is one that I don't know how to pronounce, so I'm just gonna call him Fops. Now this Fops guy, he contains one of the most powerful essence, and uh, he is a very powerful being. For one main reason, uh, we'll get to that reason later, but this is why we must destroy him and all of his kind. Now, this man, uh, he, he is, he's very close by, so we have to be very careful of this Thops. Now, if you know of this Thops who I speak of, uh, then you probably know his brother. Which is Patches. Ugh. Terrible person. I hate him. He is one of the Thops kind, as I like to call him. Uh, and, you know, if you're having your doubts on should I actually kill this Thops guy, uh, this is the video for you because it will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind killing Thops and his brother Patches and any more who are to appear out of the darkness. Now, if you are wondering why, you know, why why am I going to kill this Thops guy? This this Thops guy, you know, he doesn't seem too bad. I, I haven't heard anything bad about him. You know, this little guy sitting on a bench in a little... I don't know, castle type of church? Oh, it's a church, yeah. So he must be a pretty holy guy, you know. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Uh, well... I mean, just look at him. Why don't you want to kill him? Anyways, uh, I prepared five reasons to why you should, uh... You know, kind of, uh... Put him down, I should say. Alright, number one reason, in case you're having your doubts, is when you talk to him. Then perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Plainstone sorcery for a small donation. I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Did you hear that? Did you see this? He wants money. This poor little man sitting on a bench doing nothing he is like hmm you know i want some money and uh you know me i'm not giving away my money see i don't have enough money i cannot spare 10 runes for this there is no possible way is this guy out of his mind okay so you know let's say oh, i hate doing this uh but perhaps we accidentally, like, you know, we're trying to hit don't donate because nobody in their right mind is going to donate. But accidentally forget, we forget to bring it down. So we donate 10. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Stop him from talking. This guy's annoying. That's not one of the, one of the things, but anyways, that's number one. Uh, he wants you to donate him. Some precious moolah. Some nice little runes. Uh, but that is unacceptable. And he should be beheaded for even trying. Alright, so on to, you know, on to reason two. Let's say we want, you know, let's say I'm a magic user. And I'm like, yeah, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll see what he's got. You know, he's selling some sorcery. It might be cool to check out. Glintstone Pebble. This is the literal first spell you get. Okay? Like, I don't think you understand. This is the most basic, one of the worst spells ever. And he's selling it for 1,000 runes. Which, at the time, you are probably not going to have the amount of money that I do. You know, because you're going to actually spend this on leveling up. And he's wanting 1,000 runes for this doo-doo spell. Okay, so, you know, that's that's fine. It's 1,000. Maybe, you know, you saved 1,000. 
All right, well, let's check out the next spell, and it's Glintstone Arc. This is worse than Glintstone Pebble. Like, huh? What is this? Like, maybe it's a little bit bigger, but it does so much less damage. And he's selling it for 1,500 runes. What is this? This is another one that you can get pretty early on for so much less than this. Okay. I gotta settle down. Whew. Oh, that is terrible. Well, I mean, there's only one spell left to go. It's It won't be that. Starlight? It's a torch! A torch that takes mana and... It you doesn't last forever. It is for 2,500. This thing doesn't even do damage. It barely lights up anything. You can get a torch for basically free. And he's selling this out. This spell for 2,500. Is this guy out of his mind? Like he wants you to donate 10 runes. And then he's like, okay, yeah, by the way, I'll cheat you some spells because you gave me this money and then he's like oh yeah but i forgot to say uh to learn these spells it's 10 times the price that you'd already paid this guy i think he's worse than patches and so that you know that's number two he sells doo-doo spells they are the worst spells ever all right let's move on to number three Whew. you know number three it can't be worse than number two. I mean, number two is, you know, you're taking a test at school. Number one, it's like, eh, you know, I'm kind of getting what this test is all about. Number two, it's like, uh-oh, that's the big bad question. You know, you never know what number two is. But then number three, it's like that stupid little question that's like, oh, you know, on a, uh, I don't know, like some calculus test. Like, oh, it's one plus one. So it's two, so... You know, it's pretty easy. So, number three should not be that bad, you know. Like, what could be worse than number two? Okay, well, I just read my notes, and it's, uh, it, it kind of is what number two and number one is all about. This man is super duper lazy, okay? So, first off, back to number one. When you talk to him, he wants ten runes. You know, 10 runes, it isn't that hard to get. And that's the point. It isn't that hard to get. Let's see, let's run out of this little place and let's find uh, some easy 10 runes. All right, let, let's go up here maybe, you know, just check around. I mean, this is like literally 10 seconds away from his place. Ooh, what's this? It's a shiny skull. What's this? It's a gold rune uh, and it's one of them. Well, let's see how much this one gold rune is worth. Alright, let's open up our inventory, uh, you know, it was, you know, I have a lot of them, but it was one, so, well, let's use one. Let's see, you know, he's, it's, it's 200 runes, right next to it is some fruit that you can sell for 10 runes as well, but, like, you know, you, it's, it's instant money, those little rune, little things on the ground, golden rune, it's, it's, 200 you know anybody can use that sure maybe you know for the fruit he has to find a merchant and he's a little bit lazy i mean there's mushrooms over there those are those sell but you know maybe he's lazy and uh you know he, he doesn't want to go out and find a little merchant but literally if he got up and walked like two feet you know there's not even any enemies where i went you know there's there's some a little bit farther but he won't be in danger. And there's 200 free runes. This man is lazy. And that's not all. Okay, to make this even worse. If you progress his quest, he literally asks you to go and get him a key to Rhea Lucaria. The big, huge, uh, you know, school. You know, this big school out here. Uh, you can't miss it. It's a pretty big school. It's for magic users like him. Uh, he's, I mean, you know, the route there, it's a little bit dangerous. So, you know, I kind of get it. But you, he wants a key, okay? This makes him lazy. 
Now, why does wanting a key make you lazy? Well, it's because he's too lazy to do good on his tests to get into this school. So, uh, you know, he didn't make it. So he wants a little cheat his way in there. And that is just unacceptable. All right, now to on number four. Now, number three was pretty bad, you know. Uh, it kind of just showed that this guy is the laziest person on earth. You know, he's lazier than those Discord mods that just sit and wait for anybody to do one thing wrong and then instantly ban him for life. He's, he's literally worse than that. Um, but one of the worst parts about him uh, not the worst, worst yet, looking at my notes, seeing, uh, seeing what's coming up on number five. Uh, but this guy's bell bearing. Okay, so this kind of goes with number two as well. But bell bearings, we all want them. You know, like, if we want to get something in the future, we're not marking down all of the locations of these guys. Well, this guy, uh, his bell bearing is literally the same as these okay so you know it might be a dumb one but at least number four isn't that it's not as bad okay i had to put one in that's not i don't want to lose all of my audience before this video is done just how bad it is so they can go and kill him so number four is uh his bell bearing is doo doo number five this one's going to be hard to get through. Number five is what makes this kind of person. You know, we look at Patches. Uh, he acts the same way as this guy. This guy acts worse in some cases. But they always share one little thing in common. And this thing, you never want to be caught doing this thing or wearing this thing, shall I say and uh meeting me uh you don't want to know what's gonna happen but this this guy over here he has the audacity to do literally the worst thing a human being or anything could possibly do and that is literally on his head now what's so bad about his head you know like poor man he's probably all tired uh, but if you look very closely on his head, what seems to be missing? I have it on my head. You want to see? Look, look what's on my head. Specifically, the top of my head. And look, look what's not on his. He's bald. If you know me and people who are bald... I do not like them. Not like them is an understatement. I hate them. They need to stop being bald. Okay? I have a cousin who's bald. I mean, I used to have a cousin who's bald. So, there's only one rightful thing that we can do to a bald person. Thank you for watching.